Hello all. So this is the next video in the API series as we have been talking about for a while. Thank you for your love and support on that series. And in continuation to whatever we are discussing, the different HTTP method, today we'll talk about how you can delete, uh, use the delete HTTP method in Business Central APIs, which eventually will delete a record in Business Central. So I'm not going back in history, but if you're new to the series, I'll highly encourage you to go back and see the series from beginning to understand what we're talking about. Because there are some topics which I'll not go deep into it. And this will be a quick one. So let's start. So what we have talked till now is how you do a get, which is surely equivalent to like you write a get statement in your AL code. The way the get works is it fetches a particular record based on the primary key uh, from your database in your code when you're writing it. And the second one that we talked about is post, which is, and I missed this yesterday, but which, which is equivalent to an insert true. That means anytime you do a post HTTP request, uh, that actually calls an insert true in your business central when that command is called. Then we talked about patch, which is equivalent to dot modified true. So whenever you have to modify a record and also call the triggers in the on modified trigger, that's where the patch commands comes into or patch HTTP request comes into place. And today we'll be talking about delete. And as you would have assumed till now, the delete is equivalent to delete true. So anytime you delete a record, whatever the code is written on the on delete uh, trigger of that table that will also be called now as we discussed yesterday when you have to modify a record you always have to get that record first once you have that record then you can delete it in the similar way when you are trying to delete a record you will have to get that record first and then delete call the delete request hope that makes sense and I think it's a lot of theory about it. So let's get back to our VS code using Postman extension. And let's try doing a HTTP request of type delete. So as we said earlier, uh, we first have to do a get. So let's pick one that we did yesterday, sales code. And hopefully there are sales codes. So let's see. Okay. So once we do a get, we get all the sales order sales order number 1005 1006 and 1007 and oh that's it so technically at this point in my database there are three sales codes so far so good let's try to see how we do a delete and i'm not in the right instance so let me go there and let me do the get and then from here we'll change it to sales codes okay let's do a get okay i surely wrote something wrong and let me try to do okay sales orders and then i'll change it to codes Hopefully that's the end point. Yes, that is the end point. So now the situation is we would like to delete this particular record. And as we have understood within the series, the unique identifier or the primary key while <coughs> interacting with Business Central via API is the ID, which is a field which is added and we have talked about it. So I'm not getting into details of it. So rather than all these three, if I just have to get this, I'll just copy this and paste it within my brackets and that will only return me one sales uh, code which is 1005 now as we have seen there might be some lines entered hopefully yes there are two lines entered but as we talked about in the slide it calls the delete true so whenever you will delete the sales code header Technically, it will delete the lines because that's how the business central code is written inside business central. 
so let's go back and just switch from get to a delete and that's it you don't have to specify anything else you are at the record you get the record and then you switched the http request method to delete once you do that and you hit send there is no content written because uh, it's the record is deleted so there's nothing to return but it's a success so let's go back into our business central environment and try refreshing our sales code okay now we see only two sales code now let's quickly do the batch so that we also understand that if you have to do a batch delete how you do that so we should have used batch yesterday somehow i hope so yes here it is so there is a batch for patch yesterday and we'll just utilize it and we'll change this to delete will that be delete yes that should be delete in the body of the batch there is already something instead of patch we'll change it to delete okay and then we'll just place it on the other one also if you remember from the previous discussion the body and header are optional because that's not needed in case of delete so you can just empty the content of body and header and you can just copy it from here and paste it in here also the only thing that we need to change is what is the endpoint that we are trying to set right so let's switch this to get so that we know what we are trying to get at we don't get this but let's remove this we'll get both the sales order so the endpoint that we are listing is sales code that's the first thing okay sales codes and sales codes and then we need the unique identifier of each record that we are deleting in the batch so the first one is this so we replace it with that it of that first sales of quotes and then the second one is this so you can just copy this and paste it here so what we have done we have defined the method as delete we have defined the unique identifier which is different for both the uh, request in the batch and then we have defined the url which then will be replaced with dollar batch when the command executes and then header and body are optional and in case of delete you don't need a body technically so let's try executing this and that should delete our two sales code that we have so let's do a send it should not return anything as it did there's no nothing returned and it said that status is 204 and there are different statuses if required let me know we'll talk about different statuses so once we come back here let's refresh our screen and gets into sales code and there is technically no sales code available so before i let you go from this quick video of the http delete request let's quickly summarize what we have learned today while dealing with the http request delete uh, it deletes a record in business central and uh, as we discussed to delete a record you first have to get the record as you do in your AL programming also and then use the HTTP delete request method so that it then deletes it it calls the delete true inside your business central so it will call all the subscriber which are tagging on the on delete trigger and also execute the code on on delete trigger and then it also works with the batch which we just saw in a while ago and this is how a batch is written for the delete command which is the request as a summary and then the methods <clears throat> id url header and body are optional in case of delete and that's how you technically execute the http delete request okay so if you are here and with me till now then i would highly encourage you that if you have any questions drop them into the comment section if you like the content that we discussed today about the http delete then do hit the like button uh, if you think this will help others in the community then please do subscribe to this video or subscribe to this channel and share this video on social media and if you are new to this and not yet subscribed 
it's my personal request please subscribe to the channel that'll help us to understand what kind of content we are making and that helps us to track how many people we are affecting by creating this video should we spend all that time into it or should we try something else so i'll leave you with that and i'll see you sooner than later with the next video in the series thank you have a great day